Okay, this is a HDMI adapter for iOS. You can also get VGA. So I'm going to use this HDMI one here. Simple. Just get your HDMI cable from there. And I'm going to have to do this here. Try and do this one handed. Okay, and you can just plug that in like so. And we have a connected projector. Good thing with this was that. You can also still connect through and then you can charge as well. Okay, so here I'll show you how to actually configure the augmenter. Start off by adding sources. These are uh, video or image sources that you want to project onto, whatever you like. Uh, it grabs them from the camera roll. So here we'll just choose the video of the horse. Because uh, it comes from the camera roll, it gets a rather unusual name. We can give a more meaningful name for each source here. I've got controls for volume and mute at the moment. This is just going to be a silent project. So here we'll just add another image. And this one we can use as a mask. We'll show you how to do that later. Once again, you can rename, give it something more meaningful. So we'll just call this one circle. And now we have our sources. And just go to layers. Oh no, hang on, I'm just going to add a, another stale image. There we can show multiple layers as well. I'll just quickly rename that one waterfall. Okay, so that's all done. Now we'll move into the layers. And these are actually what's projected out by the projector and is the, the main functionality. Each layer has uh, a layer image, which is its main uh, function. And here we can edit the geometry of that layer, uh, which you actually get on the projection as a nice highlighted grid. Uh, that will come up in a minute. For the moment I'm just showing you the user interface. And you can just basically drag the corners. Uh, it's not too accurate in the RS simulator but it works much better actually on the phone. Here you can just drag your corners. And what you're doing is that you're looking at what the projector is saying and you're just aligning it with the, the layer, which you can see here, uh, is actually from another configuration. But I'm using the same images, so I just go into the edit layer here and get a nice highlighted grid. And I'm going to just align it with my kitchen cupboard here. I just put this together quickly in my kitchen I 
that the eventual intended audience is for things like shop displays or galleries. And you can project multiple images. It doesn't. We're using the same one here. You can see the mask on the right-hand side, and this is how you apply the mask to the image. And we've got black on white. We just need to invert that, and you can see. You go back to editing the geometry. You've got a masked out horse. Obviously, that could be any image, and you can come up with all sorts of wonderful things. And here, I'm just going to show you how we can have multiple layers, show multiple things. Just add a quick layer here, and you can see existing layers, but only the layer that we're editing is actually shown. That you can see. Now it all lines up. Just drag that over there. You can just align it with the previous. That's what you wanted to do. So once that's done, uh, you can do various things with the layers. You can reorder them, which will display in which order they will show on the, um, they will draw. So you can overlay. And we can also just remove them. And we can do the same with sources. Now that we're not using that waterfall one anymore. And we can just delete that. And that's basically the run through. We also have out, output functions here. We can flip the output. Uh, sometimes it's a bit awkward just to find a setting on the projector to flip the output. You can just do that here. You can pause and play back the whole project at once from here. There's also a screen saver option which just turns the screen black if you're going to plug it in for long periods of time. And here we have the configuration screen where it allows you to create more than one and you can save and set up and so on.